Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can set up Unity Catalog in our Azure environment. So in case if you have not watched my previous video, which was more than just the introduction of the Unity Catalog, I do recommend watching that video because that is only when this particular video will make sense to you. So without any further delay, let's move on to the Azure portal and see exactly how we can set this up. So basically the first thing that you need to make sure is that if you want to set up Unity Catalog, you should have a account global admin privileges, right? On your subscription, you should have the owner uh, privileges. You should be a global admin for your subscription. That is only when you will be able to set up Unity Catalog on the Databricks. So for example, this is my subscription. So of course I am an admin over here. So if I go back, if I go to my subscription over here and if you if I go to my access control and if I check my access over here, you can see I am a service administrator over here. Now, similarly, you know, if you want to add any new user, you can go to your Azure Active Directory over here. You know, you can simply, you know, add up, add a user over here. You can simply click on new user so you can see I am already a user over here. So if I want to add a new user, you can, you know, create a new user over here. Now, once you create that user, what you can do is you can go back to your subscription over here and in this subscription, if you go to the IAM, right, and you can actually do the role assignment for the user which you have added. So you can click on this add role assignment. You know, you can search for the owner role over here because that person has to be the owner. Now, the, once you, you know, select this particular role of owner, you can, uh, you know, go ahead, add that particular user. And you will see that you have this owner and let's click on next, for example. And then since, uh, you know, you are adding a user directly, you can click on the user and then you can select the map member whom you need to add. You know, so the same person which you have added uh, through your Azure Active Directory, you need to select that person here and you need to assign the role of owner. Now, once you are done with this, the person will again be able to, uh, you know, work and he or she can actually set up Unity Catalog. Now, uh, if uh, you are working in an organization, somebody would already have access to do that. Uh, if you're working in your own, uh, you know, subscription, just like me, you would already have that access. So let's move ahead and see how we can start the setup. Now, uh, if you can see, first of all, we would need a resource group. So let's go ahead and click on the resource group over here. So we would, we will go ahead and create a new resource group. So let's click on create and let's see, say it as RG. UC so that you know UC means unity catalog over here and let's select a region so let me select a region let's say west us2 and click on tags nothing to add here review and create and click on create so now once your resource group is ready we also need a storage account right now uh, let me open it in a new tab so when i talk about a storage account what is a storage account why do we need it in this place right so as you already know from my previous video that uh, for the unity catalog meta store you need a storage account right meta store has to store the information it has to store the metadata it has to store the access details that it will store in the storage account so the meta store has to be linked to a storage account and that is why you are creating a storage account here so now once you are here click on create option over here so that we can create a storage account now we'll sim simply select the rguc the resource group that we have created and now let me name us name my storage account so let's say uc storage 6 for example and now the region here is very important. So I'm going to select the same region as I have selected in my resource group, which is West US 2. Now standard premium doesn't matter for this particular demo. So now let me go to the advanced section and you can enable hierarchical namespace. If you have been watching my video, you already know what it is. Just enabling the data lake gen 2 and networking. We don't have to do it right now and review and create. So now let me simply click on the create button once my review is done and let me click on create. So now my storage account is also getting ready. Now at the same time, I also need Azure Databricks to be created, right? So Unity Catalog, you're going to implement on Azure Databricks, right? So we need to have Azure Databricks. So let's click on create option over here. 
Now, let's select the same resource group, RGUC over here. Now, let me name my Databricks. Now, let me say, let me call it as Unity Workspace, right? And now, again, the region has to be the same. So, the same region in which my resource group is created, in which my storage account is created, where my meta store will, uh, which is used for my meta store, that particular location is West US 2. Now, similarly, I'm selecting West US 2 here as well. Now, the pricing tier. This is again one of the very important part because Unity Catalog is available in the premium pricing tier only. So, even if you are using uh, a free version, you have to make sure that the Databricks workspace that you create is in the premium tier only. Now, let's go to the networking, which again, we don't have to worry about at this point. And let me click on review and create. And you will see that it starts validating the Azure Databricks workspace configuration that we have provided. And let us click on create. Now, till the time this Azure Databricks workspace is getting created, we will look to create access connector for the Databricks. So now let me click, uh, you know, you can directly go ahead and search it in the, uh, you know, you can type it access connector for the Databricks and you will see, you know, uh, the access connector, how we can create it now. So the first thing is, why do we need access connector for the Azure Databricks at this point, right? What is the use of it? So the storage account that you have created, you already know that you have created it for the meta store, right? Now, your access connector is just a service that will have access to your storage account. So now, when you are implementing Unity Catalog with that particular storage account for any user, you don't need to give access to the storage account directly because you have the access connector in place and that access connector already have access to the storage account. And this access connector already have access to the storage account and this access connector will also help you to connect storage account to the databricks so now anybody who needs who, who is accessing or who is using your workspace will not need uh, you know the access, direct access to the storage account because your access connector already have access to the storage account which in turn will be linked to the Databricks workspace. So you need access connector for this. So now let me click on create option over here for the access uh, for the store uh, for the access connector and select RGUC and let me name it as access connector only and the region again is very important. It has to be in the same region. Let me click on the West US 2 which we have selected. Click on tags. Managed identity is on. Click on review and create. So now once the validation is done, I'll hit create option over here. Now click, let me click on create and you will see that it gets created within few seconds. And in the meantime, I will go to my resource group that I have created. So if I go to the resource group, now you can see my storage account is present here, which is in West US 2 and even my Unity catalog workspace or my Databricks workspace is there in the West US 2 region only now since my access connection is getting created. Now, once it gets created uh, within few seconds, you will also see that the access connector is present here under the same resource group as well. So now you can see that the access connector is also present here. Now remember that you have created an access connector which will help you to link your storage account to the Databricks workspace. So the link between these two is nothing but the access connector. Now to do that, access connector also need to have access to the storage account, right? Now let me copy the name of my access connector and let me go to the storage account. Now once I go to the storage account, I can go to the IAM right and let me click on add role assignment over here so the moment i do that i can select blob data contributor access right now the moment i click on this i can actually click on select member uh, in fact it's a managed identity let me click on select member and then you can actually see that I can select my access connector for Azure Databricks and then it appears over here. Let me select it and click on select over here and next and then you can see the selected role is storage blob data contributor review and assign. So basically what I have done over here. Now if you see uh, what I tried to do. So my access connector is nothing but a link between my storage account and the Databricks, right? Now I am providing access connector access to my storage account. What type of access? 
I am providing the storage blob data contributor access to it, right? It is very simple and probably half of the setup is already done. So now this is a storage account that will be used. Let me go to the containers tab over here and create a new container because I can say that, you know, let me name it as container because the moment I create a container over here, I can actually point to that container that, you know, Metastore, if it has to store anything, it can store it inside that particular container, you know. Now, once everything is set up, you what we can do is we can actually go to our uh, Databricks workspace that we have created. So this is the Unity workspace. So let me go to my Databricks account. Click, let me click on the launch workspace over here and you will see that we land into a brand new Databricks workspace. So I've completely created a new workspace for this particular video. So now I am in my workspace and now if I go over here, right to the top, top right corner and if I click on the manage account, Right, I am taken to a completely new UI which is accounts.azuredatabricks.net. Now this is nothing but this is a UI to set up your Unity catalog. Now this Unity catalog setup what we are doing manually right now can be done through Terraform scripts as well. Now if you see over here there is an option to create a Metastore. If you have watched my previous video you would already know why we are doing this Metastore. Right, so let's click on create a meta store over here and let's click on create meta store. So the moment I do that, I have to provide a name to my meta store. So let me say meta store uh, six, seven, and let me select the region. Now the region again has to be same. It is very important. I will summarize this in the end. So if you see, we have to select West US two because my region where my meta store is created, the region where my Databricks workspace is, it has to be same. It has to be West US, it has to be same. In my case, I've put it as West US2. Now the ADLS Gen2 path. Now this is nothing, but this is the same storage account path which you have created. Now what I told is you have access connector, you have storage account, you have Databricks workspace. Access connector will provide the link between your storage account and the Databricks. We have already provided access connector, access to the storage account. Now what we are going to do is, we are also going to, in this meta store, we are going to say that, hey, this meta store, please go ahead and use this particular storage account, right? So we need to provide the configuration. So it, uh, you know, they have pretty much uh, provided the whole path over here. So let's, let's put my container name. So container and then now my storage account name. Now let me go to my storage account and let me copy the name. So this is the name of my storage account. And let me go back over here, put the storage account name and then dfs.core.windows.net. So this is the path for my storage account. Now, if you have any particular folder inside this container, you can give the whole path. So uh, no worries for that. Now, then you have something called as access connector ID. Now, you basically need to provide the access connector uh, ID over here. So let me go to the access connector that we have created. So this is the access connector. Now, if I go to the overview tab, there will be something called as resource ID. Now, let me copy this resource ID and let me paste it over here. So the moment I paste, I can click on create. So the moment I click on create, what is happening? My meta store is getting created with these configurations with the data like Gen2 in the background. And then it is asking me to assign to the workspaces, right? So I have two workspaces. Now the previous workspace, you already know, I have been making videos on that. Now I have a workspace with the, the new workspace, which I've created. So let me click there and click on assign and let me click on enable. So the moment I click enable, you can see that it says congratulations, Unity catalog has been created uh, you know it has been linked to your workspace now you can see this is the configuration and then this is the workspace you know unity catalog the region is west us2 now if i go back to the data tab over here right if i go back to the data tab you can see that it completely shows you that your meta store has been created over here right now if you go to the workspace on the left hand side, you click on the workspace where you have enabled the Unity catalog, you can actually see that you, you, know, you can actually see the more details about your uh, workspace and you can also click on this open workspace. So now I'm going inside my Unity catalog and I'll just uh, close the other tab. Now you can actually see this is the this is my Unity workspace uh, that I have created. Now if I go to the data tab over here. 
So now this is a completely brand new workspace. Let's see how does it look like now. Let me remove this option and click on this data tab. So now you can actually see that there is an option of create catalog. Right, you can click on the create catalog, you can provide the catalog name, you can provide, you know, storage location, you can skip for now. Uh, we will see that in the later uh, videos and then you can click on create. So now when you do that, a catalog will be created just like what we have discussed in our previous video. The catalogs will be created inside that you can create the tables and everything. So I have created the catalog with the name catalog itself. You know, you can see that I have a catalog over here. I have, you know, this gets created. Now this is a catalog. Now just, you know, you can name it anything. I have just named it as catalog to, you know, uh, so that there is no confusion at all. So you can see that by default, it gives you some default list of tables, models, all these things I've explained to you earlier as well in my previous video. So now, and you have information schema as well. Now, if you go to the catalog, inside a catalog, you can create a schema. Schema is nothing but it is like a database. So let me call it as schema over here and let me click on create. So the moment I create it, you will actually see that it says that your schema has been successfully created. Now, let me, let me refresh it and now you can actually see that you have a schema over here right so inside it you can create tables now if i go inside the schema you will uh, you know you can go ahead create the tables now basically all this right can be done through the terraform scripts now addition of the tables you know creation of the schema creation of the catalog all these things can be done by the sql scripts as well we are going to see that in our upcoming videos so now this is just to show you how the setup is done so this is nothing but this is how you can just do a pure brand new setup of unity catalog in your workspace now uh, you know just a few points to note which i wanted to show you is first of all to configure a unity catalog account you must have a global account admin privileges and i've already explained you that now you can have one unity catalog per region so the moment you create a unity catalog right for west us2 i can only create one unity catalog i cannot create two unity catalog the moment you try to do that it will give you error now similarly each workspace can only be attached to one unity catalog meta store now when you have a workspace so the workspace is nothing but what we created over here right this is nothing but this is a workspace unity workspace now i can attach only one meta store to it i cannot attach multiple meta stores to it it will throw an error now similarly one unity catalog meta store can be attached to multiple workspaces now one meta store can be attached to multiple workspaces so if you see i also got an option earlier to select from which workspace uh, you know I want to deploy that meta store to. So I selected one workspace. So you can deploy Unity Catalog to multiple workspaces. Now when you do that, so basically what happens is, let's say you have one Unity Catalog and you can deploy it for your development, UAT, for our production, all the environments together. But, uh, but it, they have to be in the same region. Now, similarly, the point five, why I was focusing on a region, because you cannot assign Unity Catalog Meta Store created in region X to the workspace in region Y. The region has to be the same. If it is Southeast Asia, it has to be the Southeast Asia in the uh, workspace as well. If it is West US 2, it has to be West US 2 in the workspace as well. Otherwise, it is going to give you error and you will not be able to create it. So the region also plays a very important role. So I hope you like this particular video on the Unity Catalog setup. Uh, you know, maybe I can discuss more on this at the moment, but you know, it will, you know, the video will be very long. So let's discuss the rest in the next video. And thank you so much for being till here.